Alright, hey, what's going on everybody? So today on Bearded ATVers, we are going to be doing the front diff, engine oil, and rear diff fluid change on this bad boy. Yeah, right back there you see a Sport XXC. Not mine. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to show you where the front diff and rear diff fill plugs are. Uh, Alright, so the front one. It's kind of a pain in the ass to see here. I don't really know if we can get to it real good. Uh, freak it. Uh, I might be able to see it right around there. Anyways, it's a uh, Allen key head. Maybe underneath here. No, maybe, no, maybe. Anyways, Allen key head. Right there. That's your fill. Now, your drain is right there. I'll use my pinky. Yeah, it's very small. Um, I will give you the rundown of what size is all the bolts and what size you need and everything else like that. So the engine oil and the rear diff oil. Here's two things that you gotta make sure that you don't screw up whenever you're doing it. So, this, Right here, diff. Way up front, out my head, right there, engine oil. So, make sure if you're doing one or the other, you don't do the diff if you actually meant to do the engine oil. That'd be a big giant no no. Ah, and then the <clears throat> oil change what I like to do <coughs> is pull this seat off so just the backing pull that one ahead get this plate off and access everything through this side of it I know a lot of people for some reason try and go through the driver's side I don't know why but if you go through this way you use an 8 mil deep with your quarter inch ratchet that one hard to reach bolt is not a big deal you got to make sure that you run uh, well, you put oil on your O-ring before you reinstall it. If you reuse your O-ring or not, um, it's not the end of the world. You should always change the O-ring though, usually, because it is known to leak. Even if you put a brand new one, man, it can still leak. It's not that hard to do that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start doing all my fluids and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to keep you on camera because there's not a whole lot of point. But I will show you when the fluid's coming out and so on and so forth. Uh, and remember, Evolution Power Sports, they're the ones who hooked us up with the AMS oil stuff over here. Right over here. They sell full complete kits and everything. Comes with the filter, the O-rings, everything else that you need. Nice easy pack, no mass kits. Or not no mass, less mass I should say. Meant for front, rear diffs, plenty of uh, grease to be able to grease the whole machine with. So, um, okay. Yeah, that's really all that uh, all that we need to do. I'll run you step by step on what bolts, or not what bolts, but what tools that you need. I guess I should show you where the fill location is on this. So the fill. The fill location. <clears throat> this is the engine oil, engine, rear diff. Your diff does your transmission fluid in this machine. Uh, it's a diff and transmission fluid change all in one you'll notice my valve cover gaskets are leaking that's a can-am issue and i just changed these bushings not that long ago and they're worn out again uh, i'd like to try and find garage products but they don't sell them for the upper bushings for some reason oh well looks like i'll spend some more can-am money and Buy some more bushings again for the millionth time. 
All right, so other than that, we'll get right to it and I'll keep you guys up to date on what the heck's going on. All right. Hey, everybody. I forgot to mention, uh, remember to like and subscribe and check out our buddies over at Amsoil at Evolution uh, Synthetics. And uh, I, I showed you the wrong spot, by the way. It's right over here for the engine oil. So we're gonna go ahead and drain the rear diff oil. Um, the fill plug for the diff is an 18 mil. The drain is an 18 mil. Just so everybody's aware, I like to, there we go. I like to use an extension. That way I'm not right up against it here trying to get it out. We are gonna go ahead and grab that. Uh, everything will be uh, itemized in a list and also in the description and stuff. And that way you know what I'm doing. Oh shit. By the way, don't drop it like that. Just checking the uh, metal shavings. There's always going to be metal shavings on the drain plug. And it's magnetic. It's just the way that it is. This fluid is coming out actually quite nice color. Considering how much abuse it goes through. And how much nonsense I do with it. We're probably just gonna skip forward through all this stuff. Remember, like, subscribe, check us all out. Check out our other videos if you like this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna let this drain for a little bit. She takes a... Uh, bag and a half out of the 75 140 if I remember correctly off the top of my head all right so we're gonna go ahead and button this up uh, Make sure you have your copper washer still on your uh, your drain plug here. You do not need to lift it like I have it lifted right here. Um, I purely have it lifted just for the sake of the video uh, and be able to fit everything in underneath, so on and so forth. You wanna make it so that it's just a hair snog, not over snog, because you'll strip that very easily now next we're gonna go on to the engine oil all right so now that i figured out where my buddy hides his rags we're gonna clean up the mess that we just made because you will likely make a mess uh it's inevitable you're dealing with fluids that's why that i like to wear gloves on my hands so that I don't touch my kids with dirty, gross gloves, uh, dirty, gross, oily hands. Because no matter how much you freaking clean it, they're always going to be full of oil. I'm going to go over to that side uh, and do the front engine diff, or front engine diff, front engine oil. Or just engine oil, not front engine oil. That one's also an 18 mil. So we'll just roll right around over here. And then crawl right underneath here. Go ahead and move you a little bit so you can see better. There we go. Or I can see you, I guess. 
get a whole bunch of stuff in my face. Put it right in this hole right here. Make sure you got her in the loosey position. Set your pocket up and crack it open. There we go. Disconnect your ratchet from the extension. And then make another mess again. Remember, always change that O-ring on your filter. Um, there, that was nice and warm. And I lost that in there. Looks like I'm going to be going fishing. <clears throat> if you got any questions or uh, let me know that I'm not doing something right, you can go right ahead. Don't bother me none. <sighs> All right, let's go find my my drain plug here. There she is. Now this Amsoil kit comes with new O-rings and and copper washers and stuff like that. I'm gonna go throw this stuff out so I don't make a mess anymore. Alright, so now that I got my washer back from the kit, the new kit, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this ratchet. Well, extension and socket, I should say. We wanna be very specific. Uh, before you throw away your old uh, washer there, make sure that you're Make sure the kit actually does come with one. It This one does uh, from Evolution Synthetics here, but uh, just, just make sure, because you don't want to throw it out and then you're off digging for it, because you need that washer. Put her back on the righty tighty, and voila. So, the oils are drained in the rear uh, I'm going to top back up here in a minute first before I do anything else I'm gonna put the trusty lid cover on before I make a mess trying to move this thing All right, so now we are back to the interior. So like I said, I take this seat cover off, that seat cover off. I pull it up as far as I can. Mine doesn't really like to go up that far. So then I go ahead and pull this up as high as I can because usually you're supposed to slide it out that way and out, but mine's just covered in mud. It doesn't want to go. So the oil filter itself is a cartridge and it's hidden right behind there and you kind of got to feel it with your hands to get to it, okay? So it's right there. There's three bolts that hold it in. And that's what you got to do to take it off. It's the eight mil. So, um, I don't really know how well I'm going to be able to do this to show you guys how I do it, but, uh, come in from the passenger side, find your three bolts and away you go. Uh, and then when you take it off, here's your filter. This is what it looks like. This is your O-ring. So change your O-ring, take your filter, take your filter out, and then you go ahead and put it in with your old waste stuff, and you get rid of her. Uh, other than that, um, it's pretty well the end of this video, because uh, I found out I don't actually have my sockets to be able to do the front diff here with me today. So that will be a different video for another week. So on that, on that topic, um, Make sure that you check out Evolution Synthetics. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe to Bearded ATVers. Uh, we're going to be riding again once the snow falls. It's uh, that time of year where it's pretty crappy. 
cold, wet, snow, whatever. And I'd kind of like to have a semi-ish clean machine. I, I know that's unheard of for me, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And any questions, anything, I will answer it to the best of my knowledge. And if I don't have the knowledge to be able to answer it, I'll tell you that. I'll do my best to try and help you or find somebody who can help you. All right. See ya.